Okay, uh, this turn, um, I, th I think it was this turn, I finished off that combat with the Raveners. And Space Marines actually killed, no, they did nothing, but they lost a guy, and then they fell out of combat, but they didn't, they couldn't, couldn't get overrun or anything, they broke off. So I'm going to get to shoot those Raveners finally, and then completely lose everything over there. Um, the lone gaunt charged itself into my bike, so now all those stupid gaunts are coming back, all 20 of them, so that's fun. And uh, over here, actually over here, this Titan shot both of its weapons into this Titan. Now I don't have my weapon again, I lost my Void Shields, and I can't shoot with my other weapon, so... I pretty much just can't ever use this Titan. Um, over here, Lord Commissar in close combat did two wounds, and he saved them both, and he did got none in return. Um, this Titan here completely destroyed my Wayman Russ, so I'm pretty much out of heavy artillery, and wrecked this Rhino when the guys came out. And those guys are still falling back over there. Gaunts came in, they're flying forward. Not much I can do about anything right now. So we'll see how this ends up. We're going. We're going to get to the end of the game pretty soon here. Uh, top of five. Okay, this turn, no void shields back up. Didn't repair my weapon. I don't know how I'm not doing that with six dice, but that's okay. Um, these guys moved up here and killed both of those raven raveners after the bolter shot them and failed. These guys here with the missile and the ordnance killed four of those gaunts back there. The dreadnought killed one more gaunt, so they're going to have a test. These three sentinels shot missiles and killed that zoanthrope. Um, so far, these these two sentinels here shot and killed a few of those gaunts. These guys with their grenade launchers and these their missile launchers shot and killed a few gaunts. Um, turret shot at this. Four melts have shot at it. So and after all that, it took one unsaved wound. Um, Terminators moved forward. Bikes boosted over down this way. Dreadnoughts over there still. Um, still got a few missiles and stuff to shoot around there, and that's pretty much what's going on so far. Okay, just another turn of getting pummeled, pretty much. Um, this thing here, all of its shots into this. Took off two structure points with one chain reaction, got t another chain reaction with it, too. Um, weapon was destroyed, can't shoot, obviously, or move, so I'm pretty much just going to restore next turn, even though it's the last turn, just for kicks and giggles. Um, those guys are feeding, so they might eventually end up off the objective next turn, if I'm lucky. Um, and the same thing with those might happen, but I doubt it. Uh, they're just too big, too big of a squad. Um, this here shot up, killed like five of my space marines, like four or five of my space marines, and they're falling back, but they'll regroup. And then the other arm <laughs> shot the dreadnought and exploded it, despite my cover. Um, one of those guys died, and those gaunts shot did five wounds to them, and or ten wounds actually, and actually saved every single one of them, which is absurd. And I think that's pretty much it. There's not much else shooting going on. This battle, he did a wound to me, and I saved it. And I failed three of my four to hit again and didn't wound him with the two plus. So that was fun. Um, that's still going on. And last turn, now it's turn six. And we're actually right on the time we were hoping to get out by. So um, pretty much last turn. Okay. Um, this was a hilarious, ridiculous turn. These terminators are obviously on the objective. Um... Uh, shot a lot of missiles everywhere to do nothing. I killed 11 Gaunts from that squad, so they have to take a leadership. If they fall off, they can come back on, but they won't be able to get in range of the objective. If they stay on and they pass their leadership, then they can't control the objective because they're below half. So that was a really good situation there. Um, so I moved a bunch of guys. A strategic redeployment, like a ton of units all over the place, over to here, and stuff like that. So... Um, I'm letting those gaunts just run wild, hopefully feeding towards me off the objectives. And I don't know if he has any coming out on this turn, we'll find out. And, uh, this repaired nothing and didn't get any shields up because it's crap. Um, over here I flew my bikes in here. I've got those guard squad in there. And Khan separated and threw the, uh, vortex grenade, which scattered back right between the two of them. <laughs> and he got sucked into the warp. He failed his, oh no, he doesn't even get a save, actually. So he just got sucked. Roll. He got sucked into the warp. I'm gonna roll it this time. Oh, it's your vortex. You roll it. Yeah, I'm not gonna roll your scattered eye. Screw that crap. Well, so the vortex is there, and it did one wound to that time, to that yeah, thing I'm not there. Sure it does it again. And I think I did one wound to that from something last turn or this turn or something. So I pretty much got that objective, unless he manages to get a bunch of crap off of it. I got that, unless he gets a bunch of crap off of it. And uh, shot a lot of missiles, blasting that to those gaunts. So that's pretty much all that happened there. There we go. Okay. Vortex grenade, see where it's scattered. Please, not on my guys. Okay, that way. Uh, seven inches. That's probably not going to touch him. Actually, it's touching his leg. Here, I'll take it. 
Roll three. Oh, three. Okay, this turn, the last turn, um, that thing landed back on it. I think it took another wound from the from the vortex. It's still got time left. Um, shot one gun at this and actually wrecked it. Um, shot another gun at the bikes and I went to ground and I got one of them. One of them died. And then he charged and wiped out my HQ squad. So I've still got that objective. Um, because his only scoring units are like non-monstrous creatures, non-gargantuans, non-vehicles, non-independent characters, all that stuff. Fourth edition rules, basically. Um, those gaunts weren't... I was stupid, I didn't move those forward, so the gaunts weren't in range to assault, so they're still on that objective. Those ones are still on that objective, and some more came in behind them that got pinned from one of my things, but it doesn't matter. So they've got those two. These ones came on, shot like a billion shots into the squad up here and wiped them all out. And the other squad, which they killed a bunch of them. And I still got my bikes there, though, and I got my vehicle um, with guys inside. This vehicle, or this guy here, actually shot right into the rear of that um, with one of its guns, strength 10, auto pens, and didn't even kill it. Just took off a weapon, immobilized it, and all that kind of crap. The other gun, I think, shot the, the bikes, maybe. Mm -hmm. And I, I went to ground, and I saved them. So I've still got that objective, even though this gun did, did, like, 20 wounds to each of my squads. Um, this thing tank shocked through, so it kind of pushed two of my squads out of the way a little bit, but I still got it, and he, uh, charged and killed, like, five to set, five out of the seven in this one squad, so, and they were falling back, um, but I still got that objective, because he's not scoring the hero font. I've got this one, um, so right now it's four to two, and this is my vital objective. I have the vital objective asset. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, that was a really good game. That was ridiculous. I didn't know what to do half the time. That was, these nids drive me crazy. These hero fonts are, like, indestructible. Is that killed your titans? Yeah, he killed my titan twice and killed my bane blade. Killed all my russes. I think sentinels, <laughs> the only thing that left, were left mostly untouched. And yeah, the terminators that didn't do anything all game. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this ridiculously long series of this absurd apocalypse game. Um... Yeah, we've got a big, huge apocalypse game. These are the pretty much the, about the armies we're taking to it, and there's like maybe like ten or twenty players. So yeah. on the fourth and fifth of December. See you later.